that uh, my interest was always in the theatrical form of a song, not in the confessional aspect of a song. I think those are the two main currents that, that I see in, in uh, certainly in pop music. There's either what we call the confessional song, started in the 19th century with people like Brahms, who all of a sudden was taking very personal poetry and putting it to music, and th there was born a kind of confessional song. Uh, intimate Leonard Cohn, a prime example of, uh, of, of a contemporary confessional songwriter. Th that was really what interested in me. I was very interested in Kurt Weill's music, with where his work with Bertolt Brecht. I was interested in uh, Leonard Bernstein's uh, musical comedies like West Side Story. Um, and um, I was interested that each song would be like a tableau in which uh, uh, not necessarily part of a broader piece like the the work I did with Leonard Cohn was a was a a, a musical that lasted an hour and a half. It was a a collection of songs which described uh, a theatrical uh, situation. But even a single song, a three minute song, would be a tableau where there would be a character, there would be an atmosphere, there would be a setting, and um, that has always been my interest. I, I'm not very proactive uh, uh, in 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 how I treat my career, and and I and, uh, I was living in France. I I enjoyed living there. I enjoyed the uh, the eclecticism of, of of the culture. I enjoyed the fact, after having lived in the United States, that France was a a haven for for artists from all over the world. Uh, without asking them to assimilate themselves into the French culture. France allows people to be themselves and still uh, live there. When you go to America, yes, they also welcome artists from around the world, but you have to become American in a sense. You have to adapt yourself to their manner of presenting things. None of those little stars are ripped tonight. It's come and feel it. I think that's what attracted me also to, to film work, to working as a director in film, was the collaborative aspect. It's true, it's a very lonely uh, business, being a writer and uh, waking up in the morning and going to your desk or to your piano. Um, uh, there's something, it's something that I miss terribly when I'm doing uh, c collaborative work with big groups of people, like directing a movie. Uh, after a couple of months, I just don't want to leave the house. I would much rather stay at home. But the same, the opposite is also true. If uh, when I'm at home for three months writing, I can't wait to get out and, and see people and test my my ideas uh, with theirs and, and get their criticism and their suggestions. And um, so I have these two things pulling me. But certainly the the um, the collaborations with Jill Carl on the four movies, my collaborations with Carol Lore on four albums, uh, the work I've done with Leonard Cohn, uh, with Stephen Lack and Alan Moyle, the Rubber Gun Show series, um, when I did Sentiment Naturel, a, 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 a techno album for Carol in 96, where the, the, the idea was to just do stuff with electronic instruments and sequencing. Uh, it... it uh, uh, it led me to meet people like Mir Wes and uh, DJ Cam and uh, um, Todd Terry, all sorts of uh, DJs. That was really exciting for me. Um, yes, collaborations have always been important to me. Mon banal, tu fais des éclairs. Tu crépites comme une pull en moer. Tu es trop beau pour travailler, mon paresseux, mon guichot. Enroule-toi. Kimono, et fais-moi boire des litres de sac et chaud.